Hi, this is Liz from Groovin Moms, and today is April Fool's Day, and I wanted to share with you a, a dinner that I made for my family last year. Um, we started out with um, some fruit juice. Um, I gave it to the kids, and, I, and they, they were so happy, and they went to take it, and they go, and they kept trying it, and then, they, and then I said, well, look. Look at that. They got a kick out of that. They were like so happy then they ate it with the spoon and they had a really good time. Next I had, I made a cake. I don't know if you could see it. This is a cake and we had cake for lunch. And the secret is that this cake is a meatloaf and it's covered with mashed potatoes. And it's a bun cake. I put it in a bun cake and I decorate it with um, parsley and little tomatoes. And uh, the, the hands is quicker than the eye. When you say you put the cake on the table, it really looks like a cake. And uh, people fall for it. And it's a lot of fun. The kids uh, were in on it, so they were telling their, their, my daughter, Grandma is making cake for, for lunch. And, and, and my daughter was in on it too. And she was saying, oh, no, you can't have you're not gonna have a cake for lunch, and they were, it, it was a lot of fun. Then the next thing I made were these uh, delicious cupcakes. Um, they're in silicone um, wrappers, and this is baked um, macaroni and cheese, and I forced it with ricotta, and then I decorated it with peas and carrots, and. Um, they, they had a, a blast with that too. So you got your macaroni and cheese for people who don't like meat, like my sister and my niece. And then you have the meatloaf, which is, uh, you know, for the other people. It's meatloaf and, and the potato. And then you have the drink, which is of course not a drink. It's really fun. And then last but not least, we have, you're gonna have to have dessert. So for dessert, we're going to have, what else? Baked potato. So you start with, this is a caramel sauce. This is your gravy. See, you make the gravy on the plate. There you go. Then you um, get your potatoes, your ice cream. But don't tell anybody. You could do this all ahead and like put it in the freezer and then you make like you um let's see, you curl it up. Naturally it's not gonna work. But yeah, that's it. You curl it up like that. Okay, we're making a mess, that's okay. And over here you got one packet of hot cocoa mix because that's going to be your brown that's going to make your potato look like a potato so you cover it with the with the with the with the powder and you get your brown potato you put it on the gravy and you're going to make two of them because we like ice cream and ice cream is good for you actually you get a little calcium so that's good and uh, you'll, you'll be neater than me. You'll make it beautiful. And um, you turn it in the hot chocolate mix and you put it on your plate. And naturally, you need a little sour cream. And then you have, you got your baked potatoes for uh, dessert. Is that fun or what? Okay, so in the meantime, this is not gourmet. Uh, I'm sure you have a box of gelatin in your house. This is instant mashed potatoes. Uh, the macaroni and cheese is the family box, the family uh, size. It's very easy. I added um, a little mozzarella. You don't cook the macaroni as much. You're going to put, put a, little, uh, a bunch of mozzarella uh, in there so it'll stick, it'll get hard in here. 
And then you could um, you get a fork. You get a clean fork. Okay, I don't have a fork. And then you, uh, hmm, you have your macaroni and cheese with your, your cooked the dressing. And it's delicious. And this is a meatloaf. And you have a lot of fun. And then the best part is these baked potatoes, let me tell you. Okay, till next time, happy April Fools.